up you guys it's Emma from Instagram and Tiki and today I just thought that I would tell you a little bit about my middle school life. Emily posted a video about her middle school experiences on Monday so if you want to go check those out I'll link that down below. But for now you're gonna listen to my stories because as weird as hers were mine are pretty weird too. So in eighth grade year I was walking to the banjo. Yes I was one of those band geeks so anyways my class and I walk up to the band room and there's smoke billowing from the top of the building. So it turned out that my band director's heater had burst into flames. So we ran in, got our instruments, and got out. So we decided that we would march outside. We go out with our instruments and start marching around the playground outside and we're doing pretty well until this jog comes. Now, I don't know why he was loose, or why he was just wandering around the school all day, but he was walking through the lines of the people, just kind of trotting along, and, I mean, he didn't really do anything awful, he was just a distraction to everyone, which really, really frustrated my band director, because she wasn't having a good day anyways. She kind of ignored it at first, and tried to kind of shoo it away, but it wouldn't go away. So we had to deal with that. A few minutes later, it happened. We were just marching around when all of a sudden, a bird swoops down from the sky and poops on my band director's head. Just comprehend that for a moment. So, of course, she just kind of brushes it off and, you know, the whole band went off laughing. So, there's that story. In fifth grade, another kind of scary-ish, traumatizing, life-altering thing happened. I was just sitting in class doing my science paper. Now let's keep in mind, when I was in fifth grade, I didn't look like this. In fact, I'll show you what I looked like. Imagine this, but with bangs that went across my head. And braces. It was bad. Okay, so getting back to my story. So, we were all just sitting there kind of scribbling on our papers when one boy, let's just call him Jim, looked out the window. None of our little fifth grade minds were prepared for the absolute terror that was about to go down. As Jim looked out the window, he noticed that the boy was pulling his pants down. Now, I don't know why my little innocent brain couldn't comprehend what was going on, but immediately I thought, oh my gosh, people are kissing outside. Jim didn't really know what to do, so he told another kid, let's call him Bob, that it was happening. So then Jim and Bob decided it was a logical thing to tell my teacher, let's just call her Mrs. Smith. So Mrs. Smith looked out the window, and upon noticing what was going on outside, began to bang on the window. Go away! Go away! Oh my gosh! Stop! She ran to get the principal, ran out the door, busted through the school, and ran out into the gym to try to stop them. So, the boy kind of looked startled, didn't even pull up his pants, and started running across the courtyard with the girl. Needless to say, it was traumatizing. The head principal came out, had a talk with us, and got us all to calm down, including my teacher, who was freaking having a heart attack. Yeah, so that was a weird fifth grade experience. The experience I had in seventh grade was we had this really, really cool sub. I'm going to call her Mrs. Apple. But so usually substitute teachers at schools just kind of walk in, call roll, and then get on their phones. But this one was different. See, this was my seventh grade history class, and since my teacher wasn't there, he had left a worksheet for us, which of course we didn't know the answers to, and we didn't want to do. We were asking her for help, and she ended up getting into a 20 minute lecture on the importance of corn. We just kind of went along with it, nodding our heads in agreement, even though we didn't know what she was saying. About 10 minutes later, the teacher got up in front of the room and said, does anyone know how to meditate? Now at this question, we weren't really surprised because this particular substitute had a reputation at all the schools for teaching the kids how to meditate. She was kind of a hippie, so she literally goes, 
I'll teach you. This is kind of what she looked like. All right, guys. So I want you to picture in your head a tiny flame. Pretend that this flame is your soul. And I want this flame to represent you. Don't let them burn out your flame. You get that flame. Picture it in your mind. You got it? Good. So she kind of started going off track and, you know, we were going to let her. She encouraged us to sit on the desk with our feet crossed and kind of just think about our lives. Then she said, your index finger is you and your thumb is the universe. The universe is just gonna keep on spinning around. You know what you need to do? Connect yourself with the universe. Make yourself one. I started taking really, really deep breaths And all of the sudden, talked about whale noises. Oh. 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 Meanwhile, my entire class just kind of looked like this. Despite the weird experience I had in that class, Mrs. Apple was probably one of the coolest substitutes I ever had. So in conclusion, that was my weird middle school life. If you liked the video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and comment down below some weird memories that you have from middle school because believe me, I would love to read them. Please make sure that you subscribe to the channel because it would help me and Emily out so much. And if you missed her video, I'll link that down below. Also, go follow us on Twitter. I hope you guys have a great weekend and I will see you guys next Friday. Stay awesome, because you probably are.